If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the most overpowered players in Madden 21 right now, guys. I haven't done this video in quite a while uh, because of the whole computer and everything that's been going on. I've been kind of, like, backed up on multiple videos per day. But we're getting back to it, guys. And we haven't done this in a while, so it's time to update you guys, especially going into... We're obviously in November. We're going to be getting the uh, Harvest promo pretty soon at some point. So let's go over what we're kind of dealing with now. And then usually do one after the promo so you guys can see kind of like the contrast between the two. But guys, we did have Wildcard Wednesday today. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure down below. Click on that video after this video, of course. And go check that out and see what you guys are missing. But moving on, guys. Uh, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you do want a chance to be shouted out, all you got to do is like the video, turn on the noti bell, and of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. Now moving on. Uh, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Cali Country. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you, uh, you for showing some support each and every single day. Thank you so much, man. And moving on from that, let's get into the list, guys. Now, I'm not going to, again, these lists isn't in any really specific order. Like, I did it 8 through 1, but that's not to say that you can't alternate. It really comes down to your team and kind of what you think is more worthwhile for you. But for the first guy on the list, we got Derek Thomas. Now, Derek Thomas is far and away probably in contention for one of the number one players in the game. Only 318k, of course, because he is a set player. Uh, so, of course, being, being you know, a set master, he's going to have his price kind of decrease. Because uh, the rarity really isn't all there. But his speed, 88 speed, 92 excel, 87 agility, 89 strength, 83 jumping, 88 awareness, 88 play rec. Guys, this is faster than some running backs. Looks like Sean Alexander, and he's an outside linebacker. Not to mention, he does get 87 blocks at 90 pursuit, 89 tackle, 89 hit power, 91 power move, and 90 finesse move. In my opinion, the way you make this card a demigod is going to pretty much be putting on run stuff. You can get his blocks to above a 90, your and you power him up. You're dealing with an above 90 hit power, an above 90 attack, one above 90 pursuit, above 90 block shed, above 90 pass rush with an 89 speed and a 93 acceleration, guys, and a 90 strength. This card's literally a god if you're able to go ahead and get his uh, block shed up. I mean, even though the block shed is still going to do damage, it just won't feel the same as it usually will if you do get that up. Coming in number two, guys, we have Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin is still the best wide receiver in Madden. The only issue with him, just like Lockett and for other guys, is the abilities they get. Uh, they're not they're nothing special, but the card itself plays amazing. 92 overall. If you power up and kept him up, he will be 93 overall. Again, 319k because he's a set piece. Oh, uh, set player, sorry. Uh, he gets 94 speed powered up, but we'll go over that in a second. Let's start with the regular. 93. 91 excel, 86 agility, 66 strength, 87 jumping, 90 awareness. And this is where it gets good. 90 catching, 88 catching traffic, 91 spec, 91 short. 90 medium, 90 deep, and 87 release. So he gets all the route running threshold to base. Now, if you chem him up and you power him up and you put on, um, I don't know if you want to go play fake or you want to go, go deep here. It really depends on your play style. But whichever one gets catch and traffic or release, go for either one of them. If you can get those up to 90, he gets even better. Route running already. So the catch and traffic or release is just come like, you know, cherry on top. And he gets 94 speed, which is going to be the fastest wide receiver in the game. He's crazy fast, guys. He's crazy good. And he's six feet tall, which is like a decent height. It's not like he's like a midget. Like your typical, typical small, slow guy, uh, small, fast guy. And then he even has some after the catch. I mean, 85 juke is decent. 86 change of direction is decent. I wouldn't really, you know, be using him as some guy that's going to make him crazy jukes. But as a receiver in general, he's a really good. And that speed can definitely be dangerous for the most part. Next on the list, and I could have put this guy probably higher, Saquon Barkley, limited edition. This Saquon is the best running back in Madden right now. 92 speed, 93 excel, 80, uh, 93 agility, 80 strength, 93 jump, 84 truck, 92 change of direction, 87 ball carry vision, 86 stiff arm, 87 spin move, 90 juke move, 87 carrying, and 89 break tackle. Now, guys, he's super, super athletic while also being powerful, which is something you don't usually see. Now, the only person you ever see that in is really Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson doesn't have that side-to-side -side agility that Saquon's going to have, which is what makes him different, right? Because Bo's north and south with speed. Um... Uh, Saquon's going to be north, south, west, east with power, which is crazy. Now, powered up and chemmed up, he can get to a 93 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 81 strength, 94 jumping, 85 trucking, 93 change of direction. But what's really important here, guys, there's really no specific threshold, but the brake tackle will go up, powered up. Um, that's really it for thresholds. If you want to get the stiff arm to 90, that's good as well. But he's just a very well-rounded, well, also, he, like, he's well-rounded at the same time while being super terrifying. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I hate when cars are all well, super well rounded. That typically means when they're that well rounded, like oh, they're gonna be decent at everything, not good, not great at anything. But with a guy like Barkley, it typically means uh, with a guy like Barkley, he has he's top end at almost everything, and the things that he should be good at, he's well rounded at, which is what makes the difference. Next, we got Devin McCourty. 
And guys, for everyone new, Micah Hyde was like the meta for a little bit with that zone. And Devin McCourty is just the better version of Micah Hyde. Now, Devin McCourty is super solid. 5'10 is kind of small. But this is what matters about him. 91 speed, 92 excel, 94 play rec, 90 jump. 89 man coverage, 94 zone, 83 press. This is what matters right here. And honestly, the hit power is not that bad. And here's the thing with Devin McCourty. As this comment says right here, you can see. That is the thing with McCourty. McCourty's always been kind of hurt because they always give him bad speed and bad hit power like um, Earl Thomas. Now, the hit power is accurate, but the speed isn't accurate. Now, now, now 91 is pretty accurate here. Now, here's the thing. You power up and get him up. He gets 92 speed, which makes him one of the fastest safeties. It's 95 zone. You put lockdown on him, guys. He already has a 90 man. So, he has a man in zone threshold. You put lockdown, you can get his man to a 95 and his zone to a 99. And is pressed to an 89. So you're pretty much looking at like one of the best cornerbacks in the game. And not to mention that safety and like you know a man blitz bench press meta. You can do a lot of damage with this Devin McCourty. And he gets 99 zones. So I and like hit power is very off this year. And quite honestly, guys, for the most part, trying to hit power people and force fumbles doesn't just it just doesn't seem right this year. So because of that, it's really led to you pay everyone overpaying for like Brian Dawkins and guys that can really just lay the boom and you're not really getting the ret well, you know return on investment there. Next, guys. Number five, we got Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, despite everything, I mean, DRC doesn't play too well, so Deion Sanders has kind of still been the guy uh, for a lot of people. Deion Sanders, 445K, 93 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility. That's really what matters there. And then 90 play rec, 92 man, 91 zone, 82 press. Press isn't as bad as it usually is, so that's not horrible. And then 82 catch. Now, if you guys don't know, specific catch thresholds trigger specific animations, so I feel like for a cornerback, having an 80 catch is super overpowered, and that's pretty much why Deion's able to do that crazy stuff that he's able to do uh, when he when a ball gets near him. But if you guys power up and come up, I mean, you're not really coming up for thresholds here. Coming up just to increase what you can do. You can get his man in zones like a 90, 97, 98, uh, both of them, and then press somewhere in the high 80s. And then, of course, you can't really do much else with him because, again, that's the only thing that sucks about powering up Dion coming him up. In a game like uh, Madden Ultimate Team where it's really threshold-based rather than every single individual rating-based, he's not going to hit any other thresholds. But he does get... And, of course, you can't power him up anyways. And, you know, like as I'm, I'm pretty much talking to the chemistry here, but... What he is is kind of what he is there. So that's always been the thing with Deion. He really can just rock and base most of the time, which is usually a super cheap aspect of him. Uh, next, guys, Darren Waller. Darren Waller is crazy still, and he's still the best tight end, so you still got to rock with him because Darren Waller is the only guy that has the speed and route running combo. He's 87 speed, 88 excel, 92 catching, 88 catching traffic, 89 spec, 92 short running, and 89 medium route running, 83 deep, 89 release. Now, here's the thing. That release is important because there's times when people are man-pressing you and you get stuck on it, you get stuck on um, you know, someone someone right there, or just getting off a route or something. Not to mention the fact that he has the speed too. And he's six foot six. So you're kinda you have the best of both worlds here. Powered up and coming up, he'll have 88 speed, 90 release, 90 spec, 80, 89 short, 90 medium, 84 deep. Now, if only if you guys if his deep was an 85, that'd be crazy because of what you could have done with like go deep max and stuff. But either way, guys, great, great tight end. You really can't go wrong with Darren Waller at all. And, I mean, there's guys who are close. It's, it's just more about the thresholds that are really keeping him back. Now, for the best quarterback, guys, I think it's Steve McNair. Personally, I'm a Steve McNair guy. 375K. And just look at these stats. 85 speed, 86 excel, 87 agility, 85 jumping. Modest at best. Like, modest, modest athleticism. But in a game, like, in a Madden game right now where passing everything has been crazy, being able to get a passing guy with this is kind of good. Now, here's the thing. Passing, 93 throw power. Great. 92 throw short. Great. 91 throw medium, amazing. 90 throw deep, amazing. 92 throw run, amazing. 91 play action, 91 throw under pressure, 83 break sack. Also has 88 change of direction, 82 juke, 79 carry. Now here's the thing, right? So you you have every single threshold that you need at quarterbacks. So you can make every throw on the field. He's a field general, which means you can get all the good abilities you need, set feet lead, uh, conductor, hot run master, all that stuff. And he also happens to be able to just take off and scramble at any moment he wants. Tough to defend him, guys. Really tough to uh, defend Steve McNair. I think he's the perfect dual threat quarterback in Madden right now. And for the final guy on this list, guys, we have Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald's not physically imposing, like, in the sense, like, oh, he's the most dominant card in the game. But Aaron Donald's just that guy. Like, he's a 92 overall Aaron Donald. You got to have him. He does everything you need. 79 speed, 86 excel, 81 agility, 93 strength, and 92 awareness. He's 92 block shed, 91 pursuit, 87 tackle, 85 hit power, 92 play rec, 92 power move, and 90 finesse. He's the perfect guy to have in your line now. I mean, for a lot, of, if you're, like, super competitive, you probably maybe put him at defensive tackle. Because he's not fast enough for your edges. like So maybe on your edges you put Derek Thomas and Ricky Jackson. Uh, and then you put Aaron Donald in the middle. So with him, he gets power move threshold and finesse move threshold and block shed. So he's pretty much just that guy. Like, he's just an all-around wrecking crew in the middle of the field. So just expect him to do just about everything for you. 
which is kind of what we're hoping for when you have an Aaron Donald. But guys, it's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn that notification bell, come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below Poodle Squad. And that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you need coins or anything to pick up these cards, head over to my reserve down below. The link will be down below in the description. Um, they've been discounted even more on top of the Halloween sale, so take advantage. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.